<laughs> yeah, just roll with it at this point in time, right? Gotta love it. Gremlins are having fun. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's always seems to be something, to tell you the truth. It really is. have a little less of that language. Yeah. If I only knew. <laughs> Good now? Yay! Pop did it! Awesome! Thank you, Pop. Thank you. See? Takes people who know exactly what they're doing. And not me. <laughs> Clearly. How's everybody doing? I know, don't touch another button, right? I know, just leave it alone. Hello, Mama is fan over on Twitch. How are you? How are you? Oh, I forgot to send you this picture that I had on my phone. Maybe I could show you. Are you, are you watching? Camera number five is not outside. Camera number five is there. Hi. Hi, camera number five. Everybody wave. Mama is a fan's quilts on the long arm. Oops. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, yeah, I had I had some uh, ideas. I just didn't get them sent to you before stream. So thank you. Thank you very much, Pop. Appreciate that, Pop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't know what the thing is loaded. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was looking for a smaller one, and I couldn't find. <laughs> I'm like, where did I put my other boot? Yeah, actually, it was kind of finding a little bit uh, annoying, but we're, we're just going to work with it. Okay. Hello, Pat over on Twitch. Thank you very much for hanging out there. <laughs> Hello, Linda Lindsay and Del Marie, June Hansen, Beverly Allen, anybody else who came in there when we were uh, trying to deal with the sound? I'm sorry. Hey, Tracy Provis, Smith the Savage. What's going on? What's going on? Hi, everybody. So we have made some progress on this one. Hey, Joanne, morning. I haven't been able to catch all your live streams. You've been busy finding a placement for my mom and auto. Oh, Joanne, I hear you. She was out here, though. Wasn't she? Isn't that when you came to visit me? You, She was she was out here? Okay, what, what of a mess, girlfriend? You gotta fill me in. Hey, Gladys, how's, you, how's it going? Hello, awkward quilter. Tell me, what's happening? What's happening? Okay. Oh, hello, Kelly. Oh, I, I, I've, I've tried to. I've tried to, but I, I've made a mistake in this corner. I don't know where I went wrong because it transfers from one page to the other, and I think that's where I've done it. I didn't know if that was all set up there, Bach Mara, so I didn't I didn't do it and I certainly didn't want to bother you. So let's see here. Yeah, I don't know where I went wrong. I have picked majority of out and then I went and re thought I was restitching the orange properly and then it seems I'm wrong again. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just step away from that one and move on to the next one. So Hello Jennifer Willis. How's it going? How's Tennessee today? Yeah, I thought she was here, Nova Scotia. Okay. Interesting. Hey, Charlotte. Welcome, welcome. Big thumbs up to you. Thumbs up to you, too. Hey, Niku. How's it going? Yeah, uh, yeah so no, no outside camera today. Sorry about your luck. I was filming along on Wednesday this morning, and then I got the other one loaded and ready to go. So, got fluffs. Uh, okay. I think, I don't know if I want to rip out, or if I want to just move on. You know what I mean? You just have one of those moments. Because um, technically, it should be up from where it is. So I feel somewhere in here I have done wrong. 
Mm, you think you're breaking through the cold? <laughs> uh, moving her here. Uh, there's no one left down there to help her. Oh, and too far for me in the grand degree. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true, but wow. That's a big task there, Joanne. That's a really big task. <clears throat> I know when my sister Elizabeth uh, was setting my mom up, well, she had to have, like, obviously specific care because she was wheelchair bound, right? So then pretty much bed bound. And it's it's not easy. It's really not easy. So I feel that this side is all right, but I think I have to like rip out all this. And I'm not sure I'm mentally ready for that. <laughs> just keep going. I know, just kind of like, you know, move on, right? Uh, I've tested uh, with your help on last week's video the 3D boot tie quilt square success three times loaded. Very nice, very nice, Jill and Del. Very nice. Uh, I think it was um, what was it? Uh, Annie O uh, had uh, one that her mom had made like a long time ago, and uh, I guess she didn't realize how it came together. I didn't know either, but hey, got it, got it. Oh, yay! Awesome, 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 awesome. Yeah, having that bigger piece in the center definitely makes a difference of that one. If I get a chance when I come down, I'll see if I can drop by for a visit. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, but we're, we should be back in um, Ontario in sometime in April. So my cleaning sickness has passed. I want to craft today. Oh, there you go. I, I heard you were busy. I heard you were, you were busy. I, I was um, reading a little bit of uh, Kathy Quilts and Crafts chat. Uh, yeah. Question is, what, what do you want to do? Scooby Doo, Scooby Scooby Doo. Yeah, so it was a holiday up here in Canada yesterday, uh, known as. Um, well, I feel like I'm thrown off here. Do, do. Uh, Heritage Day in some uh, Heritage Day for uh, Nova Scotia, uh, but sometimes some places it's Family Day. So mm -hmm. I'm going to get five quilt kits for the community service and going to turn in next Monday. Oh, that's nice of you. Are you just are they scrappy quilts or like what you doing? Are you putting like the instructions to the kit to put together too? Because there's lots of three yard quilt projects out there in NICU. Lots, lots, lots. So, and you can have an accumulation of three yards of fabric. It doesn't necessarily have to be just three yards, right? So, you can do it a very much a scrappy sort of idea. Hey, Katie Crafts. Mm -mm -mm. What's going on? Hello, Linda Parsons. I'm sure you're, yeah, I'm sure too. Yeah. And, and te by you teaching other people, you end up learning yourself, how people learn, how you can adapt yourself, how you can like, uh, specify maybe things where you find super duper easy. Some people are also struggling. So give them a little extra time to understand and maybe a little extra guidance and stuff like that. So yeah. Family day for BC yesterday. Daughter joined us for dinner. She brought her switch and we played life. What a who? Oh, I'll have to check out that one. Yeah. Was it a good one? Yeah. Uh, Marcus has a switch, so I think. I think he does. He wanted me to play it so bad, and I really had no desire. So, sorry, it, feel, it feels chilly in here. I'm just going to check it. The heat. Make sure. I don't need no cold. I already feel run down as it is. Sorry, it's getting get noisy in here. Uh, yes, I would show you where she is. <laughs> But she's not there. She's on the couch. She's right there. <laughs> not in camera range, which is over there. <laughs> President say, I thought so. I was it all your states. Is that is that, is that the same thing? Because it's different up here in Canada for which day this was here. So, yeah, because it's heritage. Um, I, I think it's mostly family day across the, the board. But there's also another day that people celebrate, and it's naval day up here. So I was like, oh, all right, interesting. Things you learn when you move to new provinces. We played the fantasy version. Uh, she said the game was pretty cheap, easy download. Oh, really? Life? Okay, I'll have to check it out. Is it like a Sims of some sort? Okay. Um, let's just make sure I have the proper spacing before I start go putting in a whole other quilt. I feel like I should. I feel like I should just rip this out. 
because I clearly got confuddled. Lesson learned. Right? Lesson learned. Yeah, I tried to rip some out, and I was like, okay, I thought I had fixed my boo boo, and then I'm like, no, things are still not lining up. So, and the sad part is, like, you don't quite know where you went wrong. Sometimes it's easier to flip out from the back because then you just usually got straight stitches to deal with. So. <clears throat> Across Canada, we all call the August long weekend holiday something different. Here it is uh, obviously BC Day. Yeah, I think that maybe that's the one that's Naval Day. It also plays with Nova Scotia. <laughs> How's Juna answer today? Now Cynthia Cook. How are you guys doing today? And thank you for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me. I thought Charlie Charlie came together quite beautifully, and I am going to make some flying geese to go around him. So not around to completely. But it's, how's Tracy Provis? She's she's going to be the, a, a new grandma again uh, in about a, a week and a bit, something like that. Not too not too long, and that's who this uh, cute little Charlie's going to go to. Whether he hangs out at just her house, and that's the quilt for her house, or if it goes to follow him around wherever, it doesn't matter to me. So, I think I think it's going to be cute, and he's going to have a home in the UK. I'm so happy to put him there. Hey, Jill O'Dell. Oh, she's from Brazil. Aw, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I just stopped her up on some too, so I appreciate that. Appreciate that very much. As soon as she stirs over there and is not curled up in a cute little ball, I will give her some some, some treats. Okay, I promise you. Now it may be hard <coughs> to to rip out your work, but if you have to, you have to. Okay. So don't 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 be sad. If it's not doing what it's supposed to, you're going to have to rip it out. So this is going to be a lesson learning on ripping out today. <laughs> Let's do it. So we just on the 25th. Oh, wow. How did it move from March to the... Oh, my. Oh, my. That's like... Oh, that's like a freckle. That's like a freckle away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, hey, Joanne. Hello there. She's over on Facebook. So is Dawn. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I can do it. Yeah, I, I made a mistake. It wasn't lining up here, and now I'm having to rip it out. So, you know, I'm doing errands. I uh, just popped in to say hello and everyone. Huh? Thank you, Miss Nadine. Big hugs to you. Hope you're having a great day. It's actually quite beautifully sunny here. Like I said, I'm sorry I don't have the outside cam for you. I, I got the long arm cam for you. <laughs> you get to see what's on the long arm. I think it's all the way up into here. That's my oops, my mistake. I think my mistake is all the way up in here, so I'm gonna keep it up there. I'm only here for a minute. The job is keeping me busy. Uh, thank you for the lovely bag. Oh, you're very welcome there, Joanne. Uh, you guys remember the patchwork bag that I was working on a, a few? Actually, when Pop was away, I was working on it when Pop was away. Uh, it, it, it finally got to its uh, recipient. So there we go. Hey, I'm glad you guys. Thank you. I'll, I'll be making use out of it. That was like my, my uh, first original design. So it's not perfect, but uh, yeah, we're going to ch change it into a pattern and share with everybody. So I was just wing -a ding ding in it. I was trying to make you something unique and interesting. So don't hold still. I'm glad you like it, Jordan. That top corner looks off somehow. Well, it does. It it goes with the breeze, right? So if you look, if you look, you Lou, I know it's it's, it, but if you look at the pattern, okay, it they are supposed to be a little wonky. Pat Strawhouse thought there was something wrong with here too, and I'm like on on this, but no, it's not, it's just it's supposed to be in the wind. It's supposed to be in the wind, right? So 
somehow when, when it's transferring from one page to another on this section and somehow I messed it up because I was coming in line with this orange here it was coming in line and I'm like oh wait a second here so I picked all the corner out and then I restarted here and went there and I still was getting in line I'm like okay well I've done something wrong here this looks really good but where it's gone with the wind for the waviness of it yeah no, 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 don't, no, don't, don't trust me. I, I, I've thought it myself. And because it's, it's going from one page to a next at, at that point in time, I'm having a little bit of an issue. So I figure if I just rip it out and then start again, and it's okay, right? We're having a fake spring here. No, no, dog. <laughs> but this lovely, but we will pay for it next week. I bet, I bet. So just trying to. Really rip out what I have. Sometimes it's easier to go from the back. Sometimes it's easier to go from the front. So I think somewhere, as you know, I was coming, I think I said it off to go wrong, but I'm pretty sure this side is all right. I, I'm going to kind of go right up to here, so because I think it's wrong. It's, it's lining up there, but somewhere in there has gone wrong, and somewhere in here has gone wrong. Uh, went for your physical this morning only to find out my point was yesterday. Oops. Uh oh! Did the Lindsay! <laughs> I bet you they just looked at you straight. I've done that early, early for an appointment, not not necessarily that that late. Whoops. Why did they call you? That's what I don't understand. Then you would have been, oh, oh, sorry, I'll be right there. Or, oops, can we move it to another time? I, I thought it was tomorrow or something, right? Like, Yeah, I probably should have taped the pages together, and then I wouldn't have made such a big mistake, but that's okay. Yeah, I've got it. I think I've like made it up here as well, so it's... Though these oranges are online, but it's these guys up here. Oops, sorry, you can't even see where I'm poking. Up here, sorry. Up there. <sighs> deep breath. It's okay. Deep breath. It happens. For some reason, I thought the 19th was today. Uh, had to your schedule for me. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, today's the 20th. Yeah. It's gone by fast. It's gone by, like, super fast. Like, when you think of it, and it's, and it's a unique one this year, too, right? Being... We don't need another camera around here, so. <laughs> so I'm not getting another one for the bed. I mean, the couch, sorry. We don't got no more ports in any of the thingamabobs to have to hold any more cameras. <clears throat> so, did anybody do anything exciting yesterday for their uh, holiday? Holiday. What what's the customary thing to do, especially if it's if it's President's Day in all all the states, right? So.
And how's Crafty Simple Life today? Yeah, we do have some beautiful sunshine. So happy to take that on. This is about as exciting as watching paint dry. But unfortunately, it is a necessary evil that you must deal with when mistakes happen and things are just not lining up. And especially when it's a, like a little bit of a wavy project like this too. I mean, you can kind of get away with like a thing or two, but uh, each each one has a little bit of wind um, blowing at it on the clothesline. So somewhere along it, it's not like as a you know, quilt completely stitched on all edges, sort of thing. Nothing exciting. Uh, but I visited my parents and had dinner with the girl, girls a little bit. Very nice. Awesome, awesome. The boys and I played uh, Enshrouded. So uh, it's good. It's a good game. Got some things accomplished and upgraded our base post and got some new armors and fought a big bad guy and so we weren't really ready for it because uh, I just kind of like dived in and started the whole thing and I didn't realize that was going to happen, but you know, we did, we did good, we did good. <laughs> we didn't have to all come back and try again, so, you know. Good times, good times we're ahead. And it's a game that we can keep like progression. Spent probably about 12 or 15 hours playing it, so we had a good time. Mm -mm. Can't stop sneezing! Oh no! Bless you, bless you, bless you, curious. <laughs> good morning, Miss Allison Stitchin! How you doing? We're doing the necessary evil. Made, made a mistake, things were not lining up, so we, we're doing the thing. We're learning. We're learning to, to rip out our work. It, it's, it's a tough lesson sometimes, but it, it's one we have to learn. Right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, how's Tracy Provis? Yeah, I asked that earlier, but I must have missed the thing, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. How's, how's the weather where you are? I think uh, your, your post was you had a little bit of rain. You got rain going on. Every time the sun comes up, uh, it, it's okay. It happened. I was off. It was uh, just the bottom part was really telling me I was off. So I was like, what is going on here? But it's okay. It's okay. It's a necessary evil, and we have to show it. By correcting it and making sure we're doing it right, it's going to look so much better in the end. So. And it's not like the quilts are like a huge, huge project. I just want to make sure I'm trying to do it the best I can. On that, right? so. People learn by example. It's remaining all night. Like, oh boy. Do you, do you have like a little where you you are um, supervising? Are you do you have like a place for dry like a dryer that you could use? Or do you actually have one in your setup? Because I know most of the camp kind of places, RV places like that usually have some. Hey, Rochelle with three L's, how you doing? Good morning, beautiful. I always watch it. That's up on the TV, but I don't know if it's gone. Just saying hello. Big heart to you. Hello. Uh, it's okay, Curiosity over on Twitch. No problem. It, it, it happens, and it's better to show it that the mistakes do happen. I mean, most of this probably was okay, but to get up and around, I need to mentally like redo, so pick it back where I know I'm, I think I'm good, or pretty much I, I'm almost there. It's like a 
I think I can. I think I can. I'm just trying to figure out which thread is the which one. Frog was visiting me yesterday. It's Tracy from us. Been fairly okay today, but a bit of sun this morning, but no blue skies. Just dull, dull, dull. <laughs> dull, dull, dull. Well, unfortunately, that is the weather in the UK. <laughs> we are on flood watch until 10 a.m., says Alice in Stitching, and then it's on off until tomorrow morning. There is a washer dryer for the host. Oh, nice. Awesome, awesome. Snowy chicken feathers here. <laughs> I like it when they're the big fluffy ones too. It's funny you say that uh, one time we had um, uh, one of our white chickens. They were, oh my gosh, what were they called? They had their really big furry, furry feet. Um, oh my goodness. And they're not usually very big. And they got like really kind of funky can tell where dinosaurs came from you know um, when you look at some of these chickens right and uh, anyways one had gotten in the yard and the neighbor's cat had tried to take, take a little little bit of it or something like that and there was feathers everywhere and I remember seeing them I'm like is it snowing you know because it was getting close to fall at the time and then I'm like no it's the bar <laughs> my poor little chicken <laughs> so yeah, she ended up having a, a broken wing, but we did end up saving her. <laughs> Punk chicken, yeah, exactly. Hey, Corin, how you doing? What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Oh, t please don't tell me Chris read it again. <laughs> I'm sure there's other channels you like prefer to go to. <laughs> the boring Lorelin and her cross stitch on Tuesdays. <laughs> You're having a brain fart. <clears throat> How's corn today? I was watching um, uh, Asenka and you guys play the Final Fantasy when, when the boys and I were playing in Shrouded. So, yeah. that was a good time. I like watching you guys play. Okay, alright. I was like, I'm sure there's other places he could read. They're far more popular and ex than exciting than this. Hey, 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 hopefully, hopefully they'll get some good mail on Friday. According to the mail delivery, Friday could be the day, people. So, I'm excited. Three days now. Oh, my gosh, Mama is a fan. <laughs> That's a lot of snow, yo. <laughs> yeah, we, we had our boat. And I think we might be over. I am not 100% sure. Okay, now, all right, let's double check that I am correct on where I am before I rift out all the way to. So, that is that. So, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we go one, two. Okay, to there. Let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we got eight on the stars. Okay, why is that messed up? Okay. <clears throat> Well, thank you. I really appreciate that, Michelle, Michelle with three L's, that you appreciate, oh, you like watching. It's nice to, you know, chat and see that you're still there. I know lots of people uh, watch on their TVs. Uh, uh, I do, I do uh, when I'm watching some streamers, too, in the evening. I'll pop them up on the TV in the, in the, in the bedroom. Just chill out with my friends. All right, we're gonna rip it all the way back. It's better to start fresh than deal with the mess. Let's start fresh. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's snoring softly. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, then I do. Oh, yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, the, I didn't realize, uh, well, the northern parts of California definitely get snow. The mountainy parts, there is mountains. Hello, the right way, Janice. How you doing there, my dear? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, that is right and that is right. <sighs> All right, let's have some tea. Let's have some tea. Let's have a moment. Hello, Catherine. How you doing? I'm back. I had to take a call. Okay. Okay. Major bow tie mini quilt just posted the other day. Uh, it was it, it was fun. It was fun, and I've got all, all the little blocks I made things to give away too. So, yeah. And then of course Charlie. Charlie turned out so darn cute. Like, come on. So I'm gonna put some geese across the bottom and the top, and then just build out uh, another chunk of the border. I mean this the out background fabric on either side. So. But I love the rose fabric for the texture of his trunk. Oh my goodness. I'm in his tusk, sorry. His trunk right here is super cute too. Super cute. Yeah. I like how just like, the, uh, there's not a plain piece of fabric on here. Everything's got some texture to it. So I'm relaxed at home today after a uh, working weekend. Well, I'm glad you could join us. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm pretty far north. Pulamas County. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, super happy with the way that was. They do have you finishing it off with some uh, flying geese in the corners going upwards, but you know, I, I wanted to do something different. So add our own own special touch to it. So yeah, he's Charlie looks adorable and I love him. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're chilling with E. That's for sure. The woolly mammoth is he totally turned out amazing, Michelle the quilter. Totally amazing. Oh yeah, have you had to abandon your craft tent? You got stuck inside today. I've been uh, loving sewing all day long out here, but Eric has it lower, lowered and secured. It's actually still tall enough for me to be under there, but it's still, oh yeah, I bet you it is. Yeah. You get the chill, especially when it's damp. You just don't, you can't seem to get warm, right? We have one half uh, branches left to do on my temperature tree quilt. Very nice, very nice. I have to be ready for baby Elliot's arrival for uh, to start stitching the leaves, and he's getting close to arriving. Yikes! Yeah, exactly. Like, what's the count if he's due on the what twenty fifth? What is today? Is it the twentieth? I thought it was the twentieth. It is. Okay, so five days. Oh my goodness! I better get cracking on that quilt. <laughs> it's never gonna get there in time. <laughs> it was a nice thought, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Where is the tie on that? There it is. I'm going to go to go to the post office today to figure out if there's any mail. Um, Miss Allison asked me to look for something and I, it hasn't arrived yet, so I am I'm kind of curious at where it is. So, to go check the mail out today. Good to know you say every answer. <laughs> well, you know, California's down over there, and you know, the Florida's down over there, and Texas is down straight to south. And <laughs> There's a few. Let's just say, you guys got a lot of states. <laughs> we only got 13 provinces and territories, you know. <laughs> we, just, we just put ours in bigger chunks of land.
No, no, I know yours is a cross stitch, but I said, but I, I would never, I wouldn't get the quilt done in time, Tracy. <laughs> Just head to you for Charlie. I mean, uh, Charlie for Elliot. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't get that done in time. I'm sorry. Pressure. Okay, let's try and do this again. And uh, be a little bit more successful than we were the first time around. I can only hope. You know what? Let's let's work on the. I know this is right, so let's do some little triangle down here. Yeah, me too. Me too. I will let you know. I promise. Oh, and your uh, lovely um, quilt is tomorrow's uh, long arm Wednesday. So, and then I'll get your other one done. The one we when we, when we chatted about for charity. That's that's so amazing. I, I'm so happy you did that. Yeah, you got 48 catches in the year. Yeah, I was the same, right? <laughs> I was the same. So many people. Yeah, it's been been cold, like in the minus 10. Uh, 11, got cold snap. We did say it was going to, temperature was supposed to rise, but I don't think that's till tomorrow. Tomorrow or uh, the next day. And then there's going to be backdrop into snow. Yeah, I'll check. I'll go right after stream. I, I had to, just trying to budget my time because I didn't come out to the shop yesterday. And, a rough week last week with no couldn't keep the heat on in here so and then getting out to here with the snow drifts that was fun too uh have you ever picked home to take a months to solve to cook over here just gonna fall in here uh oh uh oh yeah that is that's horrible dealing with the government that way especially this time we were never trying to get their taxes done Uh, he's due the 3rd of March, but they were starting her early, and my eldest daughter and I are both for birth partners. That's so exciting. 4.30 p.m., you need to start turning the lights on. <laughs> mm Oh, yeah, are you talking about the uh, declaration of the dogs there, Tracy Provis? I wonder if Mona has uh, started hers yet. So, well, maybe we'll find out tomorrow during the uh, members' Zoom meeting. Remember, that is that is tomorrow. From 1 to 5 Eastern. Oh. 
Okay, copy two and a piece of toast. Ferris is laying on the bed. <laughs> he just wants to. Just wants to. Hey, Justine, how you doing? Uh, where's your mom today? Or did I miss her? Did I miss her coming in? Where's your mom? What's going on, Justine? How you doing? Look at this. Look at our little projects coming together. Okay. So we're kind of working on this one right here. But I made a boo-boo. I had this all stitched out, but I made a boo-boo, so then I ripped it out. So, and I'm going to stitch where I know I'm good, and then I'll come back over here. Right now, we're just doing the triangles down. stops me which is like right there. Hello Tracy H, how you doing? Uh, if I join the WeSo website will I be able to join the zoo? Yeah I get yeah it's but it's a paid membership there in Iku though. So I, I don't I don't want to take away from your college funds. You're, I'm sure you're on a very strict budget. But that that's up to you. So I only if you so wish to help donate to the uh, quilt shop. So it's, a, it's pretty much a tip saying thank you for you know what we do and keeping us out there. You know that's all up to you guys. Mm -hmm. That's him. What's up, Tracy H? Hope you're feeling. I hope you're feeling better there, Tracy H. Everything's healing up. Copy number one. I'm gonna come along. I finished stitching Liberty last night during Bachelor. <gasps> Elbow cough? Oh, <laughs> what's going on? Is that, is that, well, you guys came at it at different angles, so I'm not sure if that uh, means who's, who's ahead of the game there. Or if there is one. You're good? Awesome there, Justine. Awesome. Usually your mom's hanging out with us today too, but I haven't seen her at all, so. I haven't seen her at all. Okay, now where am I going down to? Oh, oops, right to there. So let's start back up. And back up across. You're getting around easier? Good, good, good. There you go. Oh, your your kids in the chat. Huh. <laughs> uh oh, you are racing ahead. I'm going to have to get those meals smoking. <laughs> Pop in and out, in and out, you know, surprise, surprising our, our uh, members. They were lovely surprises. Yeah, now she called and woke me up. Oh, <laughs> She's, I was like, are you sure you're here? So I thought maybe you may have had an appointment, but I'm like, I couldn't remember if you'd said anything. But, you know, I try not to be too nosy in our, our people's lives. I don't want to be that much of a stalker. Got some green bits going on. Okay. 
<laughs> Typing too fast there, Tracy Probus. <laughs> it's not pedal to the metal, it's the fingers uh, are stitching so fast they're smoking. <laughs> As long as you don't smell burnt toast. <laughs> I know of three people doing my pirate stitch and have all gone in different directions. Oh, on the starting of it? Yeah. Well, that's that's up to you, right? you got to feel, do what's comfortable. Some people like to work in a corner and work their way up, give themselves enough room in the bottom edge corner, sort of, and then go. Or I, just because this was more of a long egg, uh, rectangular piece, I started right in the center, which was like right there, right up there, and was just kind of working my way a bit. So. I tried to um, like fluff up Sophie's bed in the bedroom, and then add another. Uh, quilt underneath or another uh, blanket and just kind of like give it some oomph and fluff to it and um, so that she and that was yesterday so and, and you know vacuumed it around got all the fluff so found a couple toys stuck between her bed and the wall and stuff like that so you know it's almost like Christmas day around there for her and um, that she didn't like the quilt that I put underneath uh, and she wouldn't sleep on it all night. And she told me every time she went to go lay down on it, she'd huff and puff on my side of the bed <laughs> into my face. And I didn't understand what was going on. I'm like, what's going on? It's like, I thought I'm like, I fluffed it up. I did this and that. I'm like, oh, she probably doesn't like the quilt underneath because it is a little lumpy. It's like a weighted blanket. So she was on the floor and off the floor, and then in the chair and out of the chair, walking around the living room. I'm sure she's she's having a good sleep now because she kept herself awake because she was <laughs> she was unhappy with the conditions. So I moved her first thing this morning and then told her to come back and pointed to the bed and she laid down immediately and it was like yeah, <laughs> like oops. I'm sorry. I tried to make things comfortable for her and she just didn't get no sleep. Well, which then for her I didn't get much sleep so. Aw, thank you. I appreciate that, Janice. Do you have any questions? Uh, like I said, I made a mistake here. Uh, you can see where the holes are a little bit more perforated. And I, ripped, I had to rip my stitches up. Because I knew I made a mistake coming in this way. Because on the pattern here, you'll see it does this like ripple with the breeze. Like it's same with this one here, as you can see there. That's, that's the breeze rippling at the quilts on the line okay so where this part is here and this part is here it's actually on the transition uh, page from one to the next and somehow I got myself all a, a kilter and it was not matching up when it came to get back over to this side but unfortunately I had to stitch all this first to be able to figure that out so So yeah, it was like, oops. So anyway, I learned, ripped it out. I know I'm good here for this side of the, the, the quilt. So I'm going to work on there for a little bit. I ripped out enough to make me happy that I could start fresh. But I also would like to add some stitches this time around too. <laughs> hey, balloonist. How you doing? Having a slow morning? Yeah, lots of people are. I kind of was too. I didn't, drag my, didn't drag my butt out of bed till a little bit later, so... Mm -mm. I hope everybody's feeling good today. I'm sorry. Cheers. Cheers. Not much left in the mug. So it's only my first tea today. So I think I've done pretty good considering it's almost one o'clock my time. Um. Are you were that young, Miku? Wow. Yeah. Well, we've been on since two, uh, 2016. Um, that's when we first did our like first videos, so. And if you're 21 and it's this is this is going on our eighth year, and it kind of makes sense. Even long time.
Seen lots of tracks through the snow. Yeah, that's been lots of deer and something small enough that's not falling through the snow that's on top of it, but not falling through. But the, they got a fair sized paw to it. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe a fox or I don't, I don't know, something, something big. It's, it's, a, it's a paw about that big. So, and Sophie's is, you know, about that big, right? So, so yeah, something smaller than a Sophie. <laughs> Hey, Patty, how you doing? Just looks complicated to you. I uh, this the this pattern here is is really not too too bad. Uh, there has been a few uh, more easier ones out there. I did the like the filigree pumpkin, which was um, yeah I th that was pretty pretty easy. You just used one color and just kind of filled it all in. So. How's Balloonist today? Hey, we got the uh, the member meeting to, tomorrow too. If you wanna, if you wanted to hang out, it's the, the chill and chat. I work on the project that's going to be gifted to one of them to, to the members, but you have to be the tenor up for that. So, but it's always been that way. All right, so now I'm gonna start down here. Down there. Well, we can only try and help there, Nuku. It's the best, best way that we know how. Two times was when I was uh, taking quilting classes and going around YouTube to learn as well. That's how I found this channel. I subscribed here. And was like, oh yeah, cool. Very neat. Okay, now I should be starting here and working my way to here. So from here to here. Okay. Yes. We'll just work our way down and then back up. We know our star in the center is right and we know these guys are right. These guys here are right and these corners are right. So somewhere on these two ones where if I've gone to the next page I have made a mistake. And I really would like this to turn out quite And I could see doing this pattern again, just using different colors. You know what I mean? And you could do them as a uh, individual on a line, or you can finish it out equally, like taking the side and just mirroring it over to the side and making it look like as in, as in a complete quilt with all the stitches there, uh, perfectly dimensional. And then you could put that on the side of a quilt bag for your guild meetings or something like that. I do like these uh, oranges together, like the rust and the dark orange and the light orange. They look very pretty together, especially with that green and mint green. Kind of color combinations I hadn't really thought of that besides m making it look a little, e uh, not Eastery, but Halloweeny. But now. Yeah. Hey, Brad, how you doing? Snowshoe rabbits have large paws so they don't fall in the snow. I was, I haven't seen any rabbits though, Brad. So, I haven't seen any rabbits at all. That was one of the, the weird things I thought about when we first moved here. That uh, we saw rabbits all over the place in Hillsburg. Like, they were everywhere, everywhere. Like, underneath the bed. I mean, they lived with the chickens. I mean, there was rabbits everywhere. So, when we moved here and we barely even see a rabbit. We see seagulls, obviously. 
uh, crows more than anything else. And thank goodness we see hawks and eagles and stuff like that. They just fly right through the, the back there. It's absolutely gorgeous washing the ditches. And then all of a sudden you look up and you just see this big, huge, majestic eagle just cruising down. And you're like, holy moly. I feel so blessed to see that right now. You know and most times as you're heading over the causeway, heading down to New Glasgow, you can see the hawks and the eagles up above too. Yeah, it's really neat. I really, I really appreciate them. They're very majestic, beautiful creatures. So. How's Pat Ada today? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what's the question? Lauren, is each quilt totally filled in with stitches? No, they're not. Um, I thought so at first, but they're not. All the, all the white you see is actually the canvas. So you just fill in the color parts. So what's white is white. It stays white. Yeah. Because they didn't, they don't include any. So they're leaving the canvas as the whiteness. Uh, there's great beginner starter kits. Uh, where did I have them the other day? I thought about could be a possible giveaway for somebody who wanted to start one but it's just like a little angel for Christmas uh, it's done like like with a little clothespin or something Hold on, let's see if I can find it here did I do it okay it's not where I thought I put it strange <laughs> I just woke up, want my coffee? Oh, waiting for, for waiting for my coffee, okay. I'm like, want the coffee? <laughs> we have crow that sounds like a creature from Predator. <laughs> we call it Arnold. That was, uh, remember, I think when we first moved here, I said there was a crow with like a broken caw or a caca, you know what I mean? Like, he was just, he was unique. He had his own sound <laughs> and you knew what he was. <laughs> And they're small ones. I would start off with maybe just doing um, a letter, like a font, like, um, uh, you know, A for Albert, doing a nice, like, fancy A, and just stitching that, and then putting in, like, one of the small little stitch rings, or, you know, putting it on, like, on a pillow, putting a little fabric and fabric the back and stuff, it, you know, sort of thing. Or I would do it, like, more as, like, an ornament for the Christmas tree or something. Or you could do your, you know, animal names, initials, or something like that. Start off something like that. It's like one color, super easy. You got the font right in front of you, you know, and you got your mom to guide you there too. And you can always ask questions here or, or what have you, you know, we're always willing to help, right? Most of us are anyway, so. <laughs> Some of us. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, interesting how uh, some birds, they, they get their little, uh, a little thing broken or something. They sound a little bit different than everybody else. Be uh, difficult with your vision. Maybe yeah, they're a bigger camera, a bigger canvas, or maybe even plastic canvas. Plastic canvas is a, it's the same principle. You're just working with plastic, and it, that, that's what you're stitching. But you can do great things. You can do boxes with that. You can make jewelry boxes, um, catch-all boxes, um, things for the cutlery drawer, Kleenex box covers, I am I did uh, the whole alphabets for Munchkin when he was a kid and the numbers, many of them for the fridge, put magnets on them, used to use those. His uh, grandma, pop, great grandma, uh, Pop's grandma, made him a whole train out of plastic canvas. It was all bright colors, had teddy bear on it, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's like three dimensional, it's around here somewhere. I think one of the trains uh, plastic broke on it, but that's pretty good for like almost 30 years of being around. Yeah, that might be something you might be interested in starting first, like making it as a purpose for something, right? Like maybe, uh, you know, catch all for the door, for the keys, or the change. Does anybody have change anymore? I was going to say usually for change and stuff, but <laughs> does anybody have uh, change? Yeah. 
Where did he hear that noise? Yeah, I got two tote bags finished this weekend. Messed, uh, messed up my daughter's. What do you mean messed it up? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? And just tote bags are just open tote, or did you put the uh, like zippers on them, or what's up? What's up? And it was it was your own design, or did you follow try to follow somebody's? That's right, Tracy H. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's Tracy H.'s birthday. Thank you for reminding me. As soon as you said it, as soon as you said it, the synapses are firing. <laughs> I will. I will sing happy birthday to you. In fact, oh, no. I thought, oh, are you awake? Is it tree time? Is it tree? It's tree time and sing time. It is. It is. It is tree time and sing time. <laughs> Yeah, we're singing together, right, Sylvia? On a one, two, a one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Tracy H. Come on, up, 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 up. Happy birthday to you and many more. Hope you have a great day. Back home in Jamaica, my grandfather did cross stitch using plastic yeah well that's what i mean that's the that's how it first uh, started off right so uh well for me anyways like that's how i first started but i found the yarns uh gave my fingers a rash after a while and i guess it was the oils in my hands and stuff like that so yeah happy birthday jc you're welcome you're welcome thank you as soon as you said it i knew it would be like at the end of stream i'd be heading out the door and be like oh darn it i didn't sing her happy birthday <laughs> Sometimes she's got a lot going on in the brain. So in fact, I thank you for saying something because I would have forgotten and I'm sorry. It's not that I didn't feel it was important. I'm just sometimes forgetful. Yes, happy birthday. Yeah, but for easy cross stitch starting off, I would start something like that. It definitely would be my go-to. I did uh, birth announcements and wedding announcements, and then I started getting into like doing the critters. Um, you know, I made a little mouse with a little toque on it for my sister Elizabeth, and and then I was made. And then I've done like just needlepoint, which is just you're going only just across once, and you're you're filling the space with it. it's like a little bit more of a like a fluffier thread. So yeah, wool and I don't usually get along either. So but I I too try. So there are even just a, like a, ta a tapestry or something like that. There's some that are printed. That might be even another way to, to start off. You, you're really grasping the concept of what you have to do and how you get yourself there with something that's printed. Um, so then there's, it's, it's guiding you and you're, you're learning along the way. You, it's, it's the stamp on the road. It's like the following yellow brick road. Counted cross stitch, you end up doing, you know, things like I did. I miscounted somehow and transferring over from there to there, so. <laughs> it's always street time for Sophie if I ride. <laughs> always. Oh, here, here, here. We can do this now. Uh... Oh, that's the one combination we didn't think of was Desk and Sophie. We'll do the pep cam. <laughs> Back in 2002, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's and that's and then I started with the, like the little fancy letters and the, filling it in with their like the colors that they chose for their wedding or similar whatever I get close to thereof and you know and I would say you know united in holy matrimony or whatever. I, I, I tried to go by their wedding invite, um, of what, of what how I how I stitched it out. I tried that tried to give me a guideline of what to stitch so <laughs> hello sister Lisa how you doing my dear hi hello 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 send you big hugs and loves happy to see you <laughs> do they do match the new bugs actually they were kind of uh and, and they are purple they are it is a purple but for some reason purple and blues don't always show up uh great on camera so hello sister Lisa How's it going? How's Winnipeg today? Yep, 
Yeah, and it all started with someone did a wedding announcement for Pop and I when we got married 29 years ago, almost. So, and I thought it was so cute. And though she only did Laura, but she said it just looked too odd with the small of the Kent, with the big Laura lids. <laughs> so and I'm like, so I always said, whenever I did one, I would do their full name and I would try to balance it the best way I could, so. <laughs> Hey, we got the Zoomy thing going on tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. If you wanted to zoom, uh, join, if you, if you had time, I know you're working. I know you're working. But if you if you wanted to come in, you could hang out with some cool kids. <laughs> Everything's great. You're good. Good, good, good. We did uh, Charlie the the mammoth. We 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 finished him on this. We had six hour stream on the weekend. He turned out amazing. Amazing. I love it. Dude, that's so good. Nice, nice catch. Did you cookie too? <laughs> good catch there, Zobi. Good catch. <laughs> Good snacks. Good snacks with a book. Hmm. Yeah, he turned out really cute. I'm going to build him up some uh, flying geese because he's, he's going to go live in the UK, but I'm going to make up some flying geese. Um, I haven't decided if I was going to introduce some new colors. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of kind of torn on how I want to finish up the geese, what colors I want the geese. So, but yeah, I am across the top and the bottom, and then um, just add the background fabric to a st uh, strip on either side after that. So, and then he'll get quilted up with some cute little green flannel on the back. <laughs> she is. You should call Murray. Why should we call him Murray? Why should we change his name? My mom does her nails all the time. She always has beautiful nails. Yeah. Well, um, I, I was originally starting to do them because I was helping strengthen my nails. I was getting splits and cracks all the time, and um, they weren't staying very strong. And they would bend and go to. We don't have. We've got the, like the little ledges on your um, uh, counters or, and cupboards and stuff like that. So I'm reaching under and I was always bending them back or snapping them. So I'm like, okay. And actually the boys picked me up this color. This, um, I probably wouldn't have grabbed that uh, for myself, but uh, I like it and they like it. So, and, and, it, and how often do, do boys buy uh, their girls or their, their family members um, uh, nail polish, right? I mean, like, that's that's a first for us, so. <laughs> and I, I thought it was very sweet of them to mix it up a little bit, because they just had the gray and then, like, the taupey kind of fleshy kind of color and then the clear, so. And I threw something vibrant in there. Yeah, it was the first time wearing it was on the weekend. Kelly's gotta go. Okay, 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 okay. Do the dishes and so work for that easy. All right, take care, take care. Bright colors were the great. I think maybe, yeah, I thought adding, like, adding more, like, maybe blues and greens and blues and greens because it is for a, for a boy, so, like, blues and greens uh, geese. So just to kind of make those little colors stand out a little bit. outside the box <laughs> always <laughs> did you see that jacket did you see that fox jacket it's already gone it left last Tuesday um, but uh, I could show you some pictures oh my 
And I didn't want to put them on our website because I know they would see it if I put them on their website and our website because they, 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 uh, they would look. So I put it on someone else's. <laughs> Just because I wanted to share. Because <laughs> I could. All right, have some tea. You too there, Janice, from The Right Way. You too have a fantastic day. Big hugs to you. And thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing about your cross-stitch. About your grandpa's cross-stitch. Yeah, and I think anybody can start. You just you just got to give yourself enough of a, a, you know, confidence boost that you can do it. It is possible. Uh, All right, what do I need to do here? One, two, three, four, and on the fifth one. So, so many ties in this monster. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you did, you did see the. Oh, yeah, I did. I had so much. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it again either. It says Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. <laughs> And I just, and they don't have to show it on stream or anything like that if they don't want to. I just, the fact that I know that it's going to arrive and it's going to be there, I'm, and, you know. And I'm hoping it at least is a little big on her. I don't know. It's hard to gauge when you don't got kids like that yourself and you don't see them on a daily basis. You don't know, what, you know how they look or what they look, so. But. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing uh, one for um, Claire Bear there, Sister Lisa, if, if you think she would be interested. Not not necessarily a fox one, but if she's interested in a certain animal or whatever, you just let me know. I'd like to, I wouldn't mind building her out one too. So, and what size? I know she's a little, she's a little one, so, and, and size wise, because she's very much like her mom. Tiny, tiny patinas. Yeah, but if they share any pictures, I promise to share with you guys. So, um, the uh, the Saturday stream, if, if if I hear from them, so yeah. But I'm just I'm just excited for her to get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lori. <laughs> it's like Christmas, but it's not even for me. <laughs> I know it sounds goofy. Uh, I know it sounds goofy, but it is what it is, right? Um, okay, now we want to go. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, the fifth one is here. She's gonna get it by three of her in that jacket. Oh, nice Mexico! Sweet, sweet, how amazing! You love horses, yeah? There was a I have a lovely um, horse stitch out on the long arm. It, it does. It's it's beautiful. It's one of my favorites. Okay, now we're going to stitch up here for those three. Oh, 
Mexico sounds fun. And warm. <laughs> I, I only went the one time uh, for the honeymoon. Uh, Cancun. That was it. It was a couple's package that Pop and I got. I think we were it was 10 days or something like that. one here. Yeah, we still have, have yet to find the mailbox, so we did buy a new one. Uh, but we're we're not putting it up until the snow melts enough. Pop wants to drop like a big steel bar <laughs> into the ground <laughs> so the plows won't take it next time. <laughs> I'm not sure that's gonna work, but we can give her a go. Okay, okay. let's go here for a second. Tie this on the back. Oh, that's looking cute. Okay, we need some more of that color. Uh, I'll keep the little one though. Mm, I've got a few favorite animals. I don't know if I have a, like a favorite favorite. I do like turtles. I do like turtles. I was thinking that maybe uh, Star Crusher can, can try stamping them. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Like as I said, like having one that's stamped already would be probably a great and nothing too big, not nothing overwhelming though, Tracy Alper. Like maybe just a couple of colors. That's that's it. So we went to Mexico as part of our honeymoon um, to put the other uh, to but the other side of Puerto Val Vallarta. Vallarta. Oh. Yeah. We, uh, yeah, that we, it's like in the big, it's like a big sea, right? So where we were, um, and we walked the beach a lot when we were there, for sure. Definitely. We got, my hair was long at the time, and it was about mid-back, maybe. And I got it all into really tight braids. <laughs> and I've got, like, the tenderest, like, palest skin in between and boy did that ever get crispy crittered <laughs> I remember with the this squeegee of the aloe bottle just going up and down the the rows <laughs> and pop too his whole head got just crispy crittered so you were yeah <laughs> red pigment in the skin you, you burn like crazy so we got we, oh, we got like two 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 um red really red or or pale <laughs> Tiny Talkie Tina, hello, what are you, are you kind of just your abs? Uh, it, it, stick around, find out. <laughs> are you fluffing? Are you fluffing your bed? Are you trying to fluff your bed? <laughs> hmm? You know, you go girl. You don't. <laughs> Think horses are your spirit animal? I, 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 gritting is definitely a way to go. Um, yeah, we all, we are. It's, it's our red pigment in our skin there, uh, Sister Lisa. Um, definitely, definitely. And I, I have had to grid when it was like a bigger project to stay on track. And I probably should have with this one, um, considering where I made the mess up. But I honestly, I didn't think I was going to be having that much of an issue. But Your favorite animals? Oh, giraffes are awesome. Love giraffes. Baby giraffes are the best, right? If I had to pick a favorite animal, it would be a dog. I love owls and tigers and pandas. I could go on. <laughs> well, that's 
that's it, right? Like, pandas, red panda is also one of my favorites. Like, they're just such a fluffy critter. You just want to hug it. So. This corner down, done here. Uh, this is Frogs. Frogs are adorable too. I like frogs. I don't mind frogs. Especially the little tiny ones that live in the rainforest. They're all like the size of your thumb. And yet so deadly. So deadly. Yeah, frogs are frogs are harmless. They don't even have any teeth, right? So <laughs> sloth. <laughs> Sister Lisa. <laughs> Yeah, some days I can re I can relate to that one for sure. Okay, so we gotta go one, two, three, the fifth one. If that lines up with that one there, yes, it does. Uh, finally, sitting with the last cup of coffee for the day, and of course with Prostas Project. Very nice, Charlotte. Very nice. Yeah, we're going to catch up with our uh, temperature project for this weekend's uh, Friday video. So, hopefully people are coming along with that adventure. You can't get a chance for me to quilt them up for you if you don't come along for the adventure. So, mm -hmm. Hello, Miss Kathleen Chim. Hi, Lynn and everybody. Pre your, uh, giving a delightful morning, afternoon, evening. <laughs> you know, all the stuff. <laughs> things. <laughs> Not thongs. All the things. All the things. <laughs> uh, hello, Miss Kathleen. How you doing? Happy to see you. Yeah, you need to tell me what you want done with that uh, Christmas tree thingy that I made with the Dresdens. I'm sitting here, I'm like, what do you want me to do with this? Every every Friday. We have Wednesday video, uh, Friday video, and two live streams a week. Tuesday and Saturday. And it's been that way for the last four years. I want your second cup. I've only had this one cup of tea. That's all I've had today. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> Tell my auto correct that. <laughs> All right, let's we got that, we got that. Let's go here. I do like this color combo. It's very bright. It's very fall and bright. <laughs> oh, craft a simple life on Twitch. Oh, I think I made the decision to use my blocks from Kinship pattern that I started like two years ago for a jacket. <gasps> Not sure if I have enough or too many, but we shall see. Oh, nice! If you have, you make a hood. You can always make a hood. Uh, as well, or a bag to match. Their craft a simple life. Totally good, and that would be beautiful. You totally cool. Okay, so we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna come back and we'll stitch up there. Do I need one in between? Oh, that one in the center. Okay, so let's flip over. 
Yeah, you could always add a hood or add a tote bag to match. I think that would be awesome. And it's a great way to use some uh, Orpha blocks for sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, just lately, every time I go outside, I have to save a worm. Those dopey things keep getting themselves on the pavement. And you little <laughs> I used to just weave and dodge around them. I was for some reason afraid of worms when I was a kid. I did not like worms at all. Now they, now they don't bother me. I'm like, yeah, it's Mother Nature. I think when I got old enough or it started to garden and realize the benefit of worms, and they have no teeth, so it's not like they're going to eat me, you know, not going to bite me. They're not like a, a leech, which is going to, you know, latch on to you and for, for to your life, right? Tracy over on YouTube now. <laughs> oh, here's what I have. Oh, chat, there you go. <laughs> Thanks for the double support. <laughs> Definitely. Thanks for the double support. Okay. And then, let's switch that one in the center. I guess we can do that because you know, we know it's right as well. In the right position. Uh, we've been under flood watch until 10 a.m. It's been rainy since yesterday afternoon and is supposed to continue until 5 a.m. Wednesday. Oh my goodness, that is horrible. I hate it. You, you know, when it just keeps coming and coming and coming and coming and coming, and um, it just, you don't know what to do with it, and it just doesn't go. It's just making just like this riverbed all the way across, and the ground's not soaking it up. You know, so question with Saturdays, can you use the rope from Dollar Street to make the rope pull? Um, it has to be like a half decently woven kind of cotton to it. Uh, it's the same that I used in, as the ties to the little bags here, so. It has to have some sort of uh, flexibility to it, no metal or hard plastic in it. Like, you need to be able to twist it and form it uh, any way you like. Oh, yeah, that's me. I pinched my knuckle in the uh, closet door yesterday. Yeah, good times. Um, <laughs> it's like, what's up with my finger? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, pinched it right in there. Um, and make sure that you connect you, when you, like, it's easy to kind of roll in on itself. Uh, so you can end up stitching, stitching around, right? You can also lay it nice and flat, and instead of doing like a jelly roll rug, you could make a rope rug. All the different like colored threads and stuff like that, I think would look really awesome. But that's just me. So I would check. I would check to make sure it is uh, cotton and nylon, right? I think this outside is cotton, and then there's the inside is nylon, and the outside's not nylon. You know, it's cotton, so. But I'd, I'd check, check, check to make sure that you can do this with it, right? So, and if it's maybe like you can feel that it's made of plastic, but it could still be flexible, I'd use maybe a jean needle and uh, maybe some extra stronger thread. So, yeah, that's okay. It'll grow back. It's all right. It'll grow back. <laughs> this way I keep saying to myself, <laughs> it'll grow back. <laughs> right in the center right in the center Mm -hmm. 
and then we'll scoot over and do the other side. Because there's lot, the white is left open, um, I, it's kind of it makes you think about where you want to put all your, your stitches, right? So, But you could come back and fill all the white in with white, you know, or a different color. You could mix it up for each, each one. Right? The white is there. I think people just like to do something to keep themselves busy, like most people. Um, I think that's the reason why diamond art came about. I mean, they really were just cross-stitch patterns, and then you stuck a little gem on top of the spot, right, instead of crossing it. So, you know, when you think about it, even if you want to do, like, a diamond, you know, diamond, diamond stitch. to put Riley in timeout. He got a container of hand cream I bought yesterday and tore it out. Oh no! Oh my goodness! He, he, was, he was liking the taste or the flavor of that for sure. I wonder what it's made out of. <laughs> Coffee tastes good? <laughs> when, you, when you really want a tea, a, a tea definitely does taste good. Interesting. There's a little typo arrow in here. Right here. Oh, right on this part of the pattern right here. All the other ones have it with just the one dot or one triangle or sorry, yeah, triangle around. This one for some reason has two placed here. But this one only has the one and this one the only the one and this one only the one so and I have looked over here at the project and they're all the same so that's a bit of a typo error okay so just note if you're gonna put this together don't put two triangles there Oops. Mm -mm -mm. I just want some purple tea last night. After dinner, I don't have any here. That, oh, no. No, I had a chamomile, but not all of it. So I've got, like, raspberries. Um, what is it? Raspberry, strawberry, lemon. I think there's an orange. Yeah. I don't mind them. It's, it could be a little overpowering. It's kind of more like just like a little dunk in the, in the hot water and then out. So I think if you leave it in there any amount of time, it just gets, like, really, like, fruity. Fruity, fruity, fruit, fruit. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Hopefully he didn't, um, it wasn't anything that was going to make him sick there, balloonist. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, Sherlock Soes. How you doing today? Hi, everyone, she says. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone, she says. Okay, what is that? It's light green. Windy up there today. Light green. Mm 
I like it blow favored. Yeah. Uh, would that one stitch throw off the rest of the pattern? Not in that. Um, I guess if you were to engage it of how you were putting your um, star in, uh, but it would elongate that one piece, right? So that green would be coming down one more, and then it's be less in in the here instead of the go one two three stitches one two three stitches so it'd be two instead of one right um it would i don't think it would mess up everything but if you were going out off of that say that one spot is how you went off the whole project you know, could be it just it's just added one color is added so It could be annoying. Especially when you're trying to make sure it's all lining up all the way around, right? So. Cooking tacos, watching and listening. Oh, nice. I had a uh, toast and a piece of haddock for breakfast this morning. So. And it's a good thing because, like, right now I'm, I'm, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Decaf, uh, I can't comment, is the best uh, after day. Oh, yeah? I haven't had tacos in forever. In forever. It seems like it, anyways. Uh, right. Because the, the reason why I was, like, looking is because, um when you do this next color it's that the where i was like okay well why does that have four stitches there and then this is over why i'm like okay it seems a little bit odd what's happened here so but it doesn't look like it's a mistake on everybody else's so i'm just double checking double triple checking okay let's go here and what we're going to do is we're looking at this little, it's like a T but sideways, okay? And we're going to fill that in. And it's just a bit of a hint of a different green. And I think we'll finish every time we, we come along here. So this is that one that's in between those other greens so, yeah. <laughs> I have the best taco place oh it's now just making me jealous <laughs> I, I miss tacos I'll have, to, I'll have to make some chicken ones or something a little light on the seasoning, but you know, I can I can have some tomatoes as long as well, actually I can introduce a little bit of fiber, so the skin should be okay as long as I take the seeds out. And I'm fine. I'm fine with doing that for tomato. I miss tomato. I miss, I miss a big slice of beef steak tomato on top of a you know piece of toast with some mayo on it. That was like an excellent breakfast snack. Whatever it doesn't matter. This big jumbo piece of tomato. <clears throat> Hello, Josie. Hello. Our craft club has been invited by the Quebec City Council to go watch the junior hockey game in their box. They will play against Halifax Mooseheads. Oh, how fantastic! How fantastic. Oh, you use ground turkey fairly regularly? Oh, there we go. Ground turkey. I mean, I'm, I'm, we actually, I found some, uh, what is it, St. Louis's little heat, heat in the boiling water. They had some turkey with gravy. I was like, yes. So I grabbed a couple of those. They were on sale. It was like two for, two for like 11 bucks or something like that. Usually they're like seven or eight dollars each. So I was like grabbing that baby. So yeah. And two, two does the three of us with the leftover. So I'm like, hey, perfect. Yes, I do like turkey.
but I do eat a lot more of chicken and fish, so for sure. Those are the those are the ones I know I'm I'm good with. Without too many issues. Okay, now this goes around the corner here. Okay. Uh, when's, the, when's the game? When's the game? There, Josie. That's got to be exciting. It's got to be very exciting. So are you are you coming to... Oh, no. It's, okay, but where, where's, where are they being held? Where, where's the finals being held? I guess it's my next question. And if it's and if it's in Halifax, I would love to meet up if we if you want to. Am I going to have tacos without tomatoes? Are you going to? I could, I could, but I mean, that's kind of like you know, uh, I like I like the whole shabambi bambi bing bong, right? You know, I like the tomatoes and lettuce and the cheese and sour cream. And I'm fine with poking the seeds out. If you want it bad enough, you'll do it, right? that yesterday it's a big stock of chicken vegetable soup oh yeah we have uh, still some of the uh, chicken 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 brothy thing from uh, Saturday night I put that in the fridge I had like the next morning for breakfast too so this was good you need good breakfast it was nutrition and balanced and warm Look how pretty all those little three colors of greens are there. Look at that. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Tracy, 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 Pat, Tina, Lisa. <laughs> it's like Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> hey, I think Mama Izzy. Appreciate that. So Pop, Pop got a new mailbox, apparently it's a steel case one, which is good. And then he got it another attachment to it that it lights up the number at night, so you can see the number on top of the mailbox or something. I, I'm, I'm kind of curious about it, so. It, sh it sounds interesting. Oh, no worries there, Mama. You, you, got, you got stuff to do, I understand. No worries. No worries. I'm just happy you're here. So I'm going to do the top part here, and then I'm going to come in and circle this because it also has the colors around it. Okay. <laughs> red Rover, Red Rover, bring Lorlin over. <laughs> I'm trouble. Are you are you sure you want that? Or, um, uh, ask Pop. Ask Pop. I'm not the big trouble. I don't I don't mean to be trouble. It just follows. It just follows me. And I don't think I should be put in the guilty section because it follows me.
<laughs> that means double trouble. <laughs> I kind of come trouble you. <laughs> right? Uh, the game is in Quebec City, February 25th at uh, 3 p.m. So we're selected because we use our crafts to raise money for the people in need. That is amazing. High five. High five, girl. That is awesome. Oh, breakfast burritos. <laughs> That, that's amazing. Well done. Well done. You should be very proud of them. And well, a great job on giving back to the community. So. That's got to make you feel pretty good. I mean, especially the people that are doing all the crafts and stuff as well, right? So that that may, that feels like what you're doing is 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 worth the cause. You know, sometimes you feel when things are you're just doing just for the sake of doing it, you don't really understand the end result, right? I mean, you figure hopefully something will come of it. This is definitely something coming of it, right? You know, so that that's so cool. That's amazing. a new table here. Add a sausage breakfast burrito Sunday morning. Ooh, sausage breakfast burrito. Marcus is very much a burrito kind of guy. He loves his burritos. Okay, we're new to We have 73 members of Nice! 73 members in your club. That's a party. That is a party. That's, that's fantastic. I'm a burrito bowl kind of person. <laughs> this craft is a bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is pretty awesome. Well, hello, Miss Brenda Foley. How are you feeling? Going to sew three quilts with three. I'm going to sew right after work. Oh, nice. Good, good on you there, Niku. Good on you. Feel there, Brenda Foley. I thought, I thought I heard someone when someone else was chat. Well, I I don't I usually sometimes chat, but I just kind of lurk. So, but I thought I saw capacity. You weren't feeling very well. So hopefully you are feeling better. So we'll have to take a picture of each one of these when they're done, and we'll have to do a vote on which one we stitch up as a quilt, as a quilt quilt, or even to even if it might be just like a mini quilt, you know, like a lap quilt or something like that. But yeah, everybody had a favorite of what they liked, so. be hard pressed to figure out which one I wanted. So felt uh, felt any better. I hate to pay taxes on it. <laughs> we do sewing, quilting, crocheting, knitting, and weaving. Oh, weaving. Oh, that's awesome. Weaving is such an art too. All of it's an art. But that's that's amazing, Josie. Well done. 
and just think you're keeping all those uh, crafts alive, and especially with the 73 people, I bet not all 73 people knew know how to do all those things or knew how to do all those things, but now with your, your club, uh, the learning continues and they can share with others as well, right? You're not just giving back to the community, you're giving back to society as well by the, the gift of learning. You like the one I'm working on? I kind of, that's kind of pulling me too, that, uh, just because I love the big star in it too, so. I heard, uh, oh, maybe it was, maybe it was about your dog. Is it wise to date a longtime friend? Well, that's a, I don't know, that's a kind, of, kind of a tricky situation. The, the longtime friend would have to have the reciprocating the same feelings. So, and sometimes you can kind of almost like gently ask, but I wouldn't, you know, just kind of tiptoe on the subject to see how they felt about you in return. But, and if it's not, not or it is, then at least you kind of, you, you, you know, you'll get a bit of a, a gauge, I guess. That can be very tricky situations. Pop and I were friends first as well, so, but sometimes it's usually the one who knows you the most and understands you the most. So. But yeah, really, it's kind of a sticky situation. Maybe, okay. Yeah, you you probably would. Probably would that. Have you looked though? I mean, is there? Have you like um, Facebook or even just a quote guild or something? Ours meets on Tuesdays here, and I'm, I'm kind of busy on Tuesday. <laughs> works well for us, so eventually they'll get there. What's everybody's plans for the rest of the day? <clears throat> you all know I gotta go to the post office, so that's what I'll be doing. And maybe I might try and find the mailbox at the end of the driveway. See if I can dig it out a bit. It's kind of it's kind of melted a little bit. <laughs> See if it's salvageable. It's coming along so nicely. Look at that. Once you get all these little bits and bobs around, it really starts to just zip right out. So, mm -mm -mm. yes, Brenda Tater Tot. Love the name. Glad things are getting better. Oh. Hey, Suzanne, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Tater Tot. Is that the dog's name? Is Tater Tot? That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, Brad says it would depend on the type of date, a fun date like a game or a concert, or a serious date like dinner for two. That's a good, good, good question there, Brad. What do you think of that there, Niku? Now that's where you maybe could, you know, 
find out whether their their feelings go a little bit deeper, you know, like your own. But that shouldn't discourage you if nothing happens. It shouldn't discourage you from not going out and finding love yourself, right? So you gotta open your heart. You gotta open your heart. So <clears throat> So in our community projects, well, if they if they like to spend time with you, that's usually a good indicator that you know you're good company, right? Most times. Oh, I put the green around those times too. We're good from home making a nice dinner. We both forgot our anniversary. <laughs> this last week. Whoops. <laughs> Sister Lisa. <laughs> That's why we picked a day that we will never forget. Canada Day. You can't forget that. <laughs> it's Canada's birthday. It's also Papa Dye's anniversary. <laughs> this year we will share it for 29 years in a row. <laughs> I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. We might have leftovers unless the leftovers got eaten for lunch today. I don't know. So, uh, We're part of the association called Les uh, Cercles de Femenaires de Quebec. They have 30,000 members. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, my gosh, Josie. That's, a, that's amazing. Yes, happy anniversary. 13 years now, he has put up with me. <laughs> Larry loves you. <laughs> it's been longer than that. That's when you guys have been married for 13, but I think you guys have been married um, together for longer though, haven't you? Pretty sure. I mean, because it's been, it's been a long time. Like, long time. That's how you read that name? Oh, the, this, uh, Quebec? <laughs> the Fermanales de Quebec? Oh, yeah, sorry. Butcher the French language. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Josie. I should have paid attention better in school. I think if it was used, like if we used two languages all throughout Canada, it would have been a bit easier to to absorb it as a child. Unfortunately, they don't. They teach it, but they don't make you use it, right? I think in a way that's why I like, I didn't at first like the idea of like French immersion schools or immersion for languages, and I thought, oh, well, geez. I'm like, you know what, if you submerge yourself into it fully, you have no other choice but to learn. Like when you go to a foreign country or something like that, you have no no choice but to learn how to you learn a few of the words to get you by, you know, for your own safety and for comfort, you know. Mine would be, excuse me, where is the toilet? <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, Pat. Welcome, welcome. Mm, hope you're able to get there, at least now and then. Oddly enough, me and met a gal here in Joanne. She said, yes, a guild here as well in Canada. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Daisy. Check it out on my guild in Canada. I can visit. <laughs> yeah. She'd be like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> My homies, they know me there. <laughs> they like me. They accept me. <laughs> More like you guys accept me, so. Oh, 
And so every time I sit down, Kelly Cat, <laughs> she just wants your attention. Just wants your love. Fur baby love. Nothing wrong with that. I tried to vacuum and tidy up and get some laundry done yesterday. And every time I got up to go do something, Sophie's like laying in the way back, on her back, feet in the air, paws in the air, shaking her tail, looking for her belly rub. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, God, pay the toll. <laughs> Oh, it's International Muffin Day. What? I'm going to have to go get me a muffin. I think I'm the only one who... I actually know Marcus likes muffins, too. <clears throat> what kind of muffin would I have? Blueberry. I like blueberry muffins. Blueberry muffins are like apple... Like crumb muffins. Or apple something. Like a, that would be definite. <laughs> Always and forever there, Kathleen. <laughs> Go to the park office to turn paper. Okay. Okay, Allison. Don't, don't. Do you need a, a canoe or, like, water wing? or <laughs> be, please be safe she's got her wellies on I like banana bread muffins ooh yeah love me good banana bread some people don't like banana bread unless it's got chocolate chips in it and I'm like I don't know I don't know sometimes it can, you can't, you know, it's okay and then other times it's like it doesn't need it like if I don't feel like the banana it just needs to stand out on its own on my phone. You kids come on. Yay! Adventure time! <laughs> Blueberry's my favorite. Then carrot with no nuts or Yeah, same. Carrot with no nuts or raisins. Definitely, I like a, I like, I like a nice blueberry. Like blueberry with a, maybe a little, little uh, uh, lemon zest in there too to kind of brighten it up a bit. Maybe like a little crumble top. Now we're getting all fancy. <laughs> Cherry. Ooh. Hey, Jody. Jo Jointy. How you doing? Yep, yep. But not for not too much longer. We're we're at our two hour max. And I do need to go to the post office today and grab myself some lunch because I am hungry. Indeed, indeed. And Charlie. Charlie turned out so cute. Charlie. My favorite buddy, Charlie. Cho no chocolate chips in my banana bread. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, just nuts. Yeah. Oh, you like it? Hey, Rob Lee, how you doing? Gonna lurk and work. Well, thanks, Rob. <laughs> I appreciate it. How you doing there, bud? <laughs> buckle, buckle. Appreciate it. Yeah, I usually try to go about two hours for cost. It's Tuesday, and usually two to three hours for the weekend. Uh, five, so, so. Yeah, we kind of space the timeline. Oh, I just got home. I'll be watching by me. Oh, I appreciate it. Uh, okay, bye, Brenda Foley. Take care. Have a great, have yourself a great day.
<laughs> That's not a bad idea. In my uh, green bar jello, I have beans and peppers <laughs> in, the, in the greens. It, it, it was a scrappy one, too. My neighbor was doing a um, quilt for one of her friends, and they just loved everything green, everything green. So she just got like all the green fabrics, of whatever, and, and made a quilt out of it. And I got all the leftover bits. So I got to quilt it up, too. So it is a longer Wednesday at some point in time. Um, yeah. it's super cool. Like we just did loops on it. She wanted it very loose and very like organic. It's a mammoth. Is he cute? We named him Charlie. Charlie. He was this. Uh, we what we worked on on the six hour stream on the weekend. So it it's a East Art. Uh, sorry, Art East Quilt Company uh, pattern. And they were so uh, generous to gift uh, the chat uh, and the fans of the channel a 15% off all the patterns that they have. I just did a pizza quilt. Yes, I did. <laughs> I quilted it up a pizza quilt. <laughs> I had so many suggestions about I should have added pineapple to it. And I'm like, well, it would have had to been like some yellow felt or something and like sewing on top so it adds some like you know depth depth and texture to it. <laughs> I'm like I'm not going there. Pop would have picked it off. <laughs> and it's his pizza quilt now. It was his pizza blanket, now it's a pizza quilt. It just looks so real, like wow. Looks seriously like a, like a real pizza. It would make me hungry every time I looked at it. Yeah, so I contacted them and said um, on the Sunday and just said, you know, thanks for the awesome, like, amazing discount you, you gave everybody, um, you know, so on and so forth, you know, like, you know, thanks, thanks for, you know, doing what you did. <laughs> I laid on the, yeah, he does like his pepperoni like that. He likes his pepperoni. Um, so they just said thank you very much, and they uh, said they had a care package for us, and they were wanting to know where to mail it. I was like, what? So I guess wait for the goodies to arrive. I don't know what's happening. Hey, I'd be happy if it was just like a fat corner of fabric, man. <laughs> I, I thought that was super sweet of them. Yeah. And they watched. They they watched a good portion of it coming together. So I was like, even better. <laughs> we do regard to the pepperoni pizza. <laughs> yeah, but it would be neat to do, like, as in the food related ones, so you were talking about there, Sherlock, um, is doing, uh, like, like a, maybe a bench cushion with, like, fruits and vegetables on it or something like that and then each chair had because we have a bench and four chairs right so a bench would have one and then all the chairs would have a different one like a vegetable or a fruit or something I think that would be kind of cool you know flipped on either side so have some fun with it yeah. some two berries with Saskatoon berries with lemon oh there we go there we go that sounds delicious lemon muffin or cherry oh cherry muffin I don't know if I've ever had a cherry muffin. Cherry pie. Cherry turnover. Black forest cake with cherry in it. I don't know. Yeah, Munchkin got actually a meat pizza the other day. Was it salami, um, pepperoni, and sausage? I was like, wow. And it looked really good, actually. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. <laughs> it would not sit well. 
I know, right? Who knows? Who knows when it might be? I'm excited. I'm super excited. Uh, okay, does anybody have any questions about this project for today? There should be a link below to get you uh, where you can probably purchase one yourself, though it is not $9.99. Um, but uh, if you wanted to do this or even gift it for, to somebody who you think would like it, like a quilter that maybe wants to try a different craft, this is definitely uh, one to do for sure. I mean, because it brings in my two love of things, quilting and uh, cross stitching. Right. What are Saskatoon berries? I've never heard of them. Um, they, they're a, a burgundy kind of berry, if I'm not mistaken. I don't usually, I didn't really get a chance to have much of them when I was a kid. So, oh, let's put this over there. Where did uh, hold on? Where did big on accident? What? 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 Uh, see you Saturday. Okay, take care, Linda Lindsay. We've got a really pretty quilt on uh, Long Arm Wednesday, and then we're going to have Mama Is It Fans for next Wednesday as well. Um, I just have to talk to her and see what she wants on it. So White Saskatoons are the best. Lots of seeds, though. Yeah, I thought they were color. I don't remember White Saskatoons, though. They're like a blueberry, but but, but lift, a little bit different. It might be best to to Google them. So, And I think they are uh, obviously mostly in Saskatoon. Uh, but I think in some of the, the, the state that's just below it, I think they get some, some there too. I like a blueberry, but smaller, yeah. Uh, I had fun too, Samantha. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate that. Mm, yeah, Suzanne Taylor's like great in Portage there, Sister Lisa. So, yeah. And um, I think it's Kathleen Davis is also uh, right there as well. I could be wrong though. I get mixed up where people live sometimes. Wild. Yes, totally wild. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to tidy up here, go grab myself something to munch, and then off to the post office. So I'm going to put my thread finder and my needle holder and my glasses and my little snips and my little holder via one of our videos. Check it out. <laughs> put it in here. <laughs> and then you put the other buddies under there. And hopefully have a little bit of chance to work on it some more this week and figure out where my problem was and fix that problem. So um, Wednesdays is long on Wednesday video. So it's just uh, it's whenever Pops finished doing the, um, um, the editing. Do, do see you Saturday. Uh, hours you're doing PayPal yesterday. I see an email order is on the way. PayPal pay for order before I even review it. Something. Oh, really? Interesting. What's going on there, right? Two buns. Two buns. Toppins. All right. I don't want to go out, but I got to go out. Sometimes when you just want to hibernate, you just want to hibernate, right? So, all right, big hugs, everybody. Thanks for keeping me company. I appreciate you. Sending you big hugs and loves. Stay in trouble. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. As to what we're doing on the weekend, uh, if we don't, if I don't finish this before then, uh, we'll be probably working on him. But other than that, we're just gonna start busting our scraps. We're gonna put together, starting to put together a um scrappy quilt to replace the shower curtain so i haven't done it i haven't i don't know if i wanted to do it uh, two and a half inches or two inches but we'll we'll figure it out so not necessarily postage stamp because i think that's one and a half so well we'll figure it out it'll be a patchworky something or other i got stash to deal with so i don't want to make stuff with what i got right so make my own fabric by using my fabric <laughs> You guys have a great afternoon, and we will see you later. I don't know if this end button's going to work or if i got to wait to go all the way over there, but thank you very much. Big hugs. We will see you on the next one. Enjoy the day, everybody. Bye.